This is what we're doing. We're making an adapter. We're turning the hex to a square. I think we lost it. It's got a hole in it. It's the latest and greatest job. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm making a dimension that's not really available for this uh, adapter for a helical pile or helical piling. I guess we lost the adapter at work, so I, it, in a pinch I had to make one, you know, so I had some uh, two-inch square stock and the, the measurements, it's like a, it's like a heavy inch and five-eighths, which, you know, might take me a few days to get a piece, so I might as well order the adapter, which is out of the question anyhow, so I got to make it, you know, and, uh, yeah, I just got to whittle it down, I guess, you know. I try to control my chips a little bit, because they freaking fly everywhere. Oh, I'm really working, you old girl. Perfect. Look at that cut. Look at that cut. Alright, and finally, with the round over, kind of like wood chop, but not. See the round over? Breaks the edge a little bit, because that's what that needed in order to fit. So here's the piling. It almost looks like a trailer hitch receiver. There's some paint in there too. I don't want to force it in there too hard, but I think if I clean that out just a little bit, it's it's the fit I need. Maybe round this over a tad. Yeah, it fits good. That's it. That's what I want. And then we got to drill a hole for the pin and then uh, some other little tricks. All right, so now that I got this fitting unbelievably awesome, look how awesome that is. I went and center punched, transfer punched the hole for that. It's like a 7 8 it's big. It's cutting like a bandit. Look at that. Four bits I used to drill that hole. Center drill, regular twist drill, dropper length, annular cutter with the center punch, with the center bit. And then this 7 8 twist drill to get the final dimension. That lines up dead on. Pretty good. All right, now I can go about the rest of it. So I went back to the magic stash and lo and behold, I found the piece I needed. I have to extend. Look at that, it's perfect. I have to extend this socket a few inches because the shaft of the hydraulic motor has a hole in it for a pin and it actually falls just shy of this being able to have a hole in it but I really didn't want to put a hole in the shallow thing anyhow so the hole for the pin will be in the pipe not the socket and that's going to work out pretty good yep so I got to hack a piece of that off
a square it got that saw cutting. That's that piece right out of the saw, the burr's still hanging off it. Look, I carved that bugger right out of there. So since this is a socket, it's very hard, so I just used my uh, flap wheel and a grinder. As the uh, truck turned, it took that black coating off, so now I can weld that on dead center. And now the only reason I'm doing this is because there's a pin that goes through this. I'd rather put the pin through a piece of mild steel pipe rather than go through the short depth of this socket so the socket's going to actually do all the work from the from the hexagon so the piece of pipe is just going to carry the pin which keeps this from falling off it doesn't really help drive it this is the drive so here's what i got this is the socket this is the piece of pipe that extends the length of this is what i need the hole for the pin is going to be about right here by the seam so here we go. Sorry about the winding noise that you guys heard there on the last shot. It's the it's the cordless drill trigger being like barely pulled on this drill so yeah it came out all right this is what you got to do when you use abrasives on your lathe little board and bar action had to hog out this collar that cinches everything together so here's the fit up before welding what we got is a socket with a collar. The collar is getting a hole. We got the drive part that fits into the piling itself. So that just being welded like a butt weld isn't enough. So what I've done is I've backed it up with a collar that slips over the whole, the whole mess and locks it down. So this gets a weld, and this gets a weld, after this gets welded. So yeah, that's it. Got the square stock welded to the socket. And then to re-ensure strength, I made a collar that slips over top of the seam. It's going to get welded here and up in here. Center drilling for the uh, the lower pin or the motor pin. So that's it for this thing. I just got to clean it up and bevel that hole a little bit, and then she is done. There you have it. Hex to square adapter for a helical piling. Now, the motor that drives this thing uh, actually has a twistometer, and it's up to the operator whether or not he wants to continue twisting or let off. So we got to drive about 100 of these into the ground. So if this thing twists in half, I'm going to bring back two pieces and do a movie on it. That's for sure.